In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Ring doorbell using the Ring app. I will also show you how to connect it to the Ring chime. The first thing you need to do is unbox the doorbell and place it on charge. When charging, a blue flashing light will appear around the button. Once the ring is a solid blue, the battery will be fully charged. Whilst the doorbell's charging, you need to download and install the Ring app. To do this, go to the App Store, search for Ring, select the Ring app and install it. Once installed, press open. The app will ask if it can send you notifications. You want to press allow, as you want to be able to see when somebody presses the doorbell. You now need to create a new account. However, if you already have an account, you can press sign in. But I'm gonna press create account. You should now follow the on-screen instructions to create your new account. Now you're signed in, you should see a message saying, welcome to Ring. You're now ready to set up your Ring doorbell. So I'm gonna press set up a Ring device. I've got the doorbell. So now asking you to scan the QR code on your Ring product. So I'm gonna turn my doorbell around and press I'm ready to scan. Allow access to the camera. And now take your phone and scan the QR code on the back. As you can see, it detected for a doorbell. It's now asking to set up my location. Press continue. So I'm in a house. You can then put in your address. You then need to name your doorbell. Mine's going on the front door, so I'll call it front door. Keep it simple. It's now telling you to charge your doorbell. I'm already doing this, but if you're not, plug it in now. If your mounting is attached, you need to detach it. Mine isn't, so I'll press continue. It's now ready to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to say I have my password. Press OK. And it's asking to allow Bluetooth connections. It needs this so the phone can connect to your doorbell. So I'm going to press allow. So I am near the device. You'll need to turn your doorbell round. Press the button on the back. As you should see, a white light starts to spin around the doorbell. As you can see, a white light is now spinning around the button, so I'm going to press light is spinning white. The phone is now connecting to my Ring now doorbell. Now connected to the Ring app. I'm now connected. So I need to select my Wi-Fi network, so mine's Eero, and enter the Wi-Fi password. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Just a moment. Now installing an update. This may take several minutes. As you can see, the doorbell is now set up and connected. The first time you do this, the doorbell will install an update, so it may take a few minutes before it's ready to use. So I'm going to press continue. The app will now give you a tutorial in installing your doorbell. So let's press start tutorial. It's now asking you how you plan to power your doorbell. I'm using battery only. If you want to use wired, press wired and follow the instructions on screen, but I'm going to select battery only. You now need to decide where you're going to put the doorbell. I'm going to install it on a softer surface. When you install it, you need to make sure the cushion side, so the side on the back with a soft cushioning, is against the wall. Now it's saying congratulations, your doorbell is ready to use. If you have family members, you can share connection with the doorbell with them. I'm going to skip this for now. You can connect your doorbell to an existing chime. I'm going to skip this for now. You can now select your different motion alerts, so I'm going to press adjust feature. You can choose smart alerts. So if a doorbell sees a person, it will record and send alerts. You can also choose to record and send alerts for other motion, but I personally have this turned off. So press continue. You can select your motion sensitivity. So if you want it to trigger at really small events, have it to max. If you don't want triggering all the time, take it to min. The higher the motion sensitivity is set, the quicker your battery will drain. You can then choose how often you want it to search for motion. I keep mine on regularly, so I'll press continue. You can then set up motion zones. Motion zones enable you to select areas where the camera will pick up motion and areas where it can't. You can also select different privacy settings. I'm going to skip this for now. You can select different modes and we can refine our settings at any time. I'm done. Now let's look at mounting the doorbell. You need to make sure that the soft padded bit is on the back and that the little bit that sticks out with the orange is on the bottom. I'm using a wooden rig to set this up to show for an example, but if it's outside from the door, it's exactly the same idea. Now for brackets in place, you need to hook the doorbell to it. As you can see, there are two hooks on the top of a bracket and two holes on the back of a doorbell to hook it onto. 
So put the doorbell on from the top, firmly push it down and you should hear it click in place. The doorbell is now in position. The next thing to do is check that it works. So let's press the doorbell and see what happens. As you can see, I've got a notification saying someone's at the front door. Press the notification to make it come up. As you can see, I now have a live view of the camera feed. If I want to talk to a person at the front door, I can press this button. The first time you do it, it will ask you to allow your microphone, so I'm going to press allow. However, I get quite bad feedback, so I've got this turned off for now. To end the live view, press end live. You can view a live feed at any time by pressing the live button. If you're not able to talk to a person at the doorbell, press replies, and you can choose a reply to leave. For example, if somebody's leaving you a package, you can press this button. Please leave the parcel outside. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. When you're in the app, if you go to event history, you can select anything that's happened. So for example, you could view where I just answered the doorbell. If you've got any missed calls, you can select them and also any motion detected. Setting up the chime is really simple. Press the three lines on the top left hand corner of the screen on the Ring app and go to devices. Press the plus symbol on the top right hand corner of the screen and select chimes. It will then ask you to scan the QR code on your Ring product. So I'll press I'm ready to scan. Turn your chime round and scan the QR code on the back. It's now saying it's detected for chime. So I'll choose where it is, so it's in my home. Give it a name, so mine's gonna go downstairs. You need, now need to plug it into the socket. So I'm gonna go and plug mine in. So plug the chime in and turn it on the wall. The green light should appear. Now that it's plugged in, I'm gonna select a chime is on. You asked me to connect it to my Wi-Fi network, so I'll press I have my Wi-Fi password. I'm near the device. So I'm going to select the light is flashing green. It's now going to ask me to connect it to the ring network. So I'll press OK. Join. It's now connecting my chime. It will ask you to allow ring to find devices on local networks. So I'll press allow. We should now start to connect to my chime. I will select the Eero network. The chime should now be connecting to my Wi-Fi network. Ah, great success. The chime is now set up and ready to protect you. Continue. It will ask you what alerts chime should amplify. So I'll select, press select alerts. So when front door is rung, it will ring. You can have it on for motion alerts as well, but I'm gonna have that turned off and I'll press continue. It's now saying linked devices, settings are saved, continue. You can now choose different tones. Let's have a look at the options. When you go to do this, you might find the chime is updating itself, so this might take a minute or two. Personally, I like the default. Once you've selected your tone, press save and continue. You can also choose motion tones. I've got mine motion turned off. Again, select what you want, press save and continue. And now you're done. The last thing to do is check that it works. So I'm gonna get my doorbell. Hopefully you'll hear the chime when I press the doorbell. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please make sure you like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.